Greetings! Thank you so much for watching this video and welcome back to my channel. Um, obviously, if this is the first time you're watching this video, my name is Rachel and this is my channel. So thank you so much. Um, so this video is going to be about what I have learned in my 27 years, well almost 27 years. Um, I'll be turning 27 on March 12th. And I just wanted to reflect and really just share some things that I've learned over these 27 years of my life because I'm really in a really great place. I'm really happy. I have built this happiness by myself, for myself. I have designed this happiness and I'm just really, really happy. I'm entering my 27 year life and I just feel rejuvenated and I feel youthful and I feel wise and I feel happy all at the same time. So I just wanted to share a few of my lessons with you guys, okay? So number one, you get to choose how people treat you. You get to choose how people treat you. So that means that someone's treating you in a form or a matter that you don't agree with or you don't appreciate it, guess what you get the choice to do. You get the choice to bounce. You get the choice to leave. You do not have to allow anyone to treat you in any form that you do not want to be treated in, okay? Because I have let so many people treat me, well, men, treat me like I'm like like nothing. So that's something that I've learned. That's my, that's up to me. I allowed people to treat me poorly a lot and that's why they did. Because of course, if you can get over on somebody and that shows you my type of person. I had a really bad type. I had a really, really, I had some rough years, y'all. I had some rough, rough years. But anyway, you get to choose how people treat you. And at any moment that you don't like that someone treats you in a certain way, you have the choice to bounce. So utilize it, know it, learn it, and bounce, okay? Number two, be kind to yourself. You are learning, okay? I am a perfectionist. I always want everything to be perfect. I want everything to be above and beyond. I don't like no mediocre. I've always been this way. And that has held me back a lot. And it also doesn't help to beat yourself up if you make a mistake. You've never been here before. You've never done this before. This is your first time living this life. So be gentle to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Forgive yourself, okay? Number three, once you believe in yourself, everything else will fall into place, okay? If you believe that you can do it, that's all you need. You don't need anyone else to hype you up. You don't need anybody else to join your bandwagon. All you need is for yourself. You need to believe in yourself, believe in yourself. Who else gonna believe in you? That's what 2 Chain says, okay? So just believe in yourself and everything else will fall into place, all right? Do not take anything personal. Do not take anything personal. The things that people do or how people treat you has nothing to do with you and 100% to do with them. So if you're dealing with a crappy person, they're just a crappy person. And that's not because of you, that's because of who they are. So don't internalize everything and make it about you. I know that's hard if you're a Pisces and you're sensitive and you're empathetic and you're like, oh my God, oh my God. I've been so sensitive my whole life and that has really, really hurt me. And now I realize that and my mom has been trying to teach me that forever but now I really realize why she was trying to teach me that so anyway don't take everything personal let go of fear let go of control you cannot control everything you can barely you, you can't honestly we don't control anything we're living on borrowed time we cannot control anything we don't know if, our, if we're gonna even wake up tomorrow so really just let it go just relax breathe i say this to myself all the time because i'm so high strung and type a personality and i can't it, it really is out of my control so just relax just breathe okay um i'm much stronger than i ever thought i could be i've learned that so i'm proud of myself for flexing that muscle because i have so much strength and i don't give myself nearly enough credit for all the things that i've overcome all the things that i have rebuilt um including myself and yeah love yours we all grow and develop at different times okay this takes me back to like middle school i literally had no boobs i barely have boobs now but i just remember wanting boobs so badly and god barely gave me any but i'm grateful for my 
34 B's that I do have, but love what you have, love your life, love where you are. If you're single, embrace being single. If you're married, enjoy being married. If you have a baby, enjoy your baby. Just enjoy what God has given you right now today, okay? And I say this to myself all the time, okay? Uh, drink water and do yoga. Yeah. Drinking water is just going to keep you, keep everything running. And I say this all the time, like drink half your weight in ounces of water. That is what you're supposed to be doing. So just drink your water, do yoga. It teaches you so much about life. Yoga teaches you how to be flexible, how you can't control everything. Yoga is amazing. It keeps you lean. It keeps your core lean. It'll give you some abs. So drink water and do yoga, okay? Forgive yourself and forgive yourself often, all right? Forgive yourself. You, you've never done this before. You're doing the best you can. Cut yourself some slack. Forgive yourself, love yourself. This is really like a reminder to myself, this video. And that's why I love this YouTube because I'm able to document and really just like come back and look at these and I'm gonna just enjoy having these up here, okay? Um, give back. Giving back is the most rewarding thing. Um, I was also, I'm in a sorority, um, and that just really taught me so much about giving back to people and like donating your time and donating old things, just being of service to people. It really, really, really does something to your spirit and it keeps you glowing. And it's just amazing what you can do by giving somebody your time um, or just helping somebody with asking nothing in return, okay? So do that often. You're never as good as they say you are and you're never as bad as they say you are. So just keep things balanced, keep things in perspective. Don't let anything blow your head up and don't let anything take you all the way down because it's never as good as they say and it's never as bad as they say. Stay balanced. Therapy is amazing and helpful, okay? If you thought about going to therapy and you wanna go to therapy, by all means, please check out my video on therapy. There's um, also some resources on that video that can help you find cheap or free or affordable therapy sessions if you're interested in going. Oh, this is a big one. You will get the same lesson over and over again until you pass it, all right? That's just how life works. So anything that keeps returning to you, you gotta change the outcome. You gotta change the results because if not, you're gonna keep being tested on that same thing. So get the lesson, learn the lesson, and don't repeat the lesson, all right? Don't be insecure. You're grown now, okay? Don't think that everything's about you. Don't take everything personal. You are no longer that awkward seventh grader, and I say this to myself, who had no boobs and big lips and big feet. And yeah, you are you are evolved from that, so don't be insecure, Rachel. Um, love yourself. Love yourself. Accept yourself. Accept your past. Forgive your past. Just move forward move forward and be happy and forgive yourself and just love yourself. Embrace all those things. Figure out who you are. Write down your weaknesses. Be honest with yourself. Be transparent with yourself, okay? Um, you'll never know all the answers. You're never gonna, never gonna know what's gonna happen. You're never gonna know the outcome of anything before you do it. That's just how life is. So just enjoy it. Life is short. Be happy. Enjoy it. Only you can make yourself happy. If you're not happy by yourself, if you're not happy single, you're not gonna be happy in a relationship. No boyfriend, no girlfriend, no baby, no job. Nothing can make you happy unless you're truly happy. So find what makes you happy. Take that time to really develop yourself and figure out what makes you happy because nobody can make you happy, okay? Rejection is a part of life. You're not gonna always be picked first. You're not gonna always get everything that you go out for. That's a part of life and it's also protection. Sometimes you're redir redirected in life because God is protecting you or the universe, whatever you wanna call it, is protecting you from something else. So it's just a part of life. It's a part of life and it's okay. You're still good. You're still amazing and you're still gonna reach your destiny, okay? So those are the lessons that I've learned. I'm really excited moving forward into the 27th year of my life. I just received this mantra 
band that says, enjoy the journey. So my coworker got this for me because she knows that I am the most like, when is this gonna happen? How, when am I gonna, when is it gonna happen to me? When am I, and she's just like, girl, you're living your life. You're 27, you're single, you have no kids, you got a good job, like you're so ambitious. And I'm just always worried about something else and really trying to get to the next level, but enjoy the journey. And I'm glad that I have this so I can just sit back and really take this with me into this new year life. I'm really excited. Um, I went vegan, well, not vegan, vegetarian. Um, and that's really helped me. I'm just doing so good and I'm just so happy and I did this all by myself. So I just wanted to share those lessons with you guys and this is kind of for me as well. And I hope that you can use these tips if it was your birthday recently or anything that you have learned, please share. I'd love to hear it. Thank you for watching this video. As always, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please share it. Anyone that you think could use it, please share it with them as well. I appreciate you as always. Thank you.